Hello everyone, welcome to the lightning round in which I try to remember how to do something quickly. I'm gonna throw down a plane. No, I'm not. I'm gonna throw down a game object. Game object. Create empty. That's the one. Call you world. And we will zero, zero, zero. And then we will throw down a plane on top of that so that it's at the world center. Beautiful. Make him 10 by 10 by 10. And we'll zoom over here. I don't know. Somewhere like this. Put the camera there. Search this project for a random material. What about box? Yeah, that's good for a ground. Alright, beauty. So, we're going to quickly see if we can make a spawn system. I'm going to use markers from a game over creator. Oh, it's already on the ground. I'm just going to put that, if it'll let me actually select the box, put that point one in the air. And then put one there. 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 I'm going to stop saying there for a minute. So basically I'm just, you know, inventing a random distribution, say you want to spawn enemies around random or spawn objects around random, which is what prompted me to do this, because someone's having trouble doing it with markers. Alright, so we've got a bunch of markers there. I'm just going to get rid of the last one, so that I've just got 12. Not that that matters at all, I just, you know, felt like making it even. Um, I'm going to create empty parent, and just call those markers. Now the annoying part of this is putting them in a list. Um, you could gather them in a list, but if you had other markers, you'd gather those as well. So I'm going to do it manually. Um, so game creator, variable, list variable. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Look at all those errors popping up. How dare they. Um, we are going to put them in as, I think game object will do. Marker, marker, etc. Oh, no, oh, I didn't forget marker, marker. I just put three in the wrong spot. Two, three, four. You can see where this is going. Five, six, seven. Oops. Come back list. Wait, isn't that where I put my list? No. Oh. Put my... Oh, it did that. Okay. Oh. Because I didn't put it on as a component. Silly me. Alright. Sort that out in a second. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Alright, I'm just going to reparent these. Parent them to that. Get rid of that. Rename this markers. It's a good idea to have as few game objects as possible. Not that I think, you know, we've just added 12 here, so I don't think it's a <laughs> that big a deal. So basically we've we've got our list of markers here. Um, and let's call this spawner. So just have a new object here. And then under spawner, we will have uh, select from list trigger. Actually, I won't even bother putting a trigger on this. We'll just go straight in and build the actions on this one. So the first thing we'll do is we will randomize the list. Uh, which is somewhere. 
No, it's not run random action that I want. Shuffle list, that's what we want. Alright, so the first thing we'll do is we will shuffle the list and that will just randomize it for us. And then there's a couple of ways we can do the next part of this. We can either pull out the first few. So if I just random if I just run this quickly. Uh, yeah, good, we're not playing maximized. And we have a look at our list. Oh, it doesn't look like it has randomized. Why haven't you randomized list? Oh, duh, because I haven't actually given a trigger. All right, let's just put a trigger on the base object here on start, run action, select from list. All right, so we've got a trigger now. So this time it will randomize our list. So we've got our random list and let's say we want to make six markers or six spawn spots. We just want to take the first six and then we can um, ignore the rest. And we can do that a couple of ways. We could pull the first six out into another list or something if we wanted to. Um, we could uh, set up um, individual spawn by IDs. Um, which is an action that I made a while ago. Um, but we have... Now, I've never used this one because it wasn't working last time I tried to use it. We've got remove amount from list. So, in theory, what we can do is say, what do we want to remove? Last element, remove the last six. So, theoretically, if I run this now... There we go. So we've only got six elements in our list, zero to five. So it's basically now we've we've picked at random six of these twelve, and then we do whatever we want with those with those ones. There, we can spawn things on them. We can uh, do whatever we like. In this case, we're going to spawn things on them, obviously. So we will go create empty spawn objects. Now we're going to need something that can spawn. So I'm going to just create something and we'll call this, I don't know, pillar of death. And I'm just going to put pillar of death in the middle there and we'll put something on pillar of death. We'll give it a capsule. That'll do. And I'll just move the capsule up and we'll make it three because you know a pillar of death's no good if it's not gigantic and then I'm just going to move that underground and turn it off. So in our spawn object script we once again we don't need a trigger we're just going to run an action and the first thing we want to do is instantiate do 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 We want to instantiate Pillar of Death. We can pull it or not, I won't bother, because just for this demo, uh, the location that we're going to choose is Target. Uh, position rotation doesn't matter for this thing. And we do want to save it. So I'm just going to quickly come back here. Might as well keep our variables all, all nice and whatever. Uh, do, 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 do. Game creator, we want a variable. Oh, my brain's turned off. Name variables, that's what we want. So, name variable, um, called spawn vars, and this will be, um, what do we want for this one? We want to know who we just spawned, who I spawned. And who I spawned will be a game object. The other thing that we can save is who spawned me. 
um, which may be relevant for some stuff. Like I've used that, for example, if you wanted to destroy all these pillars at some point, you could say who spawned me and then keep an eye on who spawned me and say if who spawned me gets destroyed, then destroy me as well. Uh, for example, all right, we're going to spawn vars, so back to our spawn objects. So we want to save what we just spawned, variable, local name, spawn vars, who I spawned, and then we will say um, set active, who I spawned, oops, the list who I spawned, the variable who I spawned. So basically that'll just say, I spawned a pillar of death, then I set that, that same pillar of death active because we've got it inactive here. Um, that's just so that, you know, we don't want our, our proxy objects actually, you know, getting in the way of our game. So you can do this with NPCs and stuff as well. You can just, instead of having them as a prefab, which causes all sorts of problems, you can just um, do this, drop them under the map or wherever you want to put them and turn them off. I mean, you're turning them off so you can leave them sitting in the middle if you want, but you'll end up with a bunch of gizmos and crap sitting there. Um, so we've spawned it, we've turned it on, um, and that's really all we need to do um, in this case because we're not doing anything fancy, but you can do whatever you want here, basically. Um, spawn location target should put it on our marker. Um, not 100% sure that's actually going to work. We'll find out. All right, so our spawn trigger is just on start, and then we're running select from list, um, which is shuffling it. It's removing six of them, and now we want to loop. And loop says, what's the list that we're going to use? We're going to use our list of markers. And then what action do we want to take? We want to take our spawn object action. So what that's going to do is it's going to run this spawn object action on every element of this list. Now, obviously, one thing to note here is that I am doing this destructively. So I'm destroying six elements of this list. So if we wanted to do this again, the list would only have six elements left. Um, so, you know, you might want to, if you're doing this in an actual game setting where you might want to spawn these things multiple times, you might not want to destroy them. You might just want to pick the first six or you might want to copy that list first or do something to, to make sure that you're not destroying it. But if I hit play now, in theory, we get six pillars. And then if I hit play again, we get six different pillars. And if I hit play again, we get six different pillars. So there you go. Simple game creator two. It's all there. Um, the remove markers from list is on the hub. It is an action that Marty made. So I'm going to say it's an official thing. Um, not that it matters because, you know, most stuff on the hub's great anyway. But this is all core game creator two and one hub action. There you go. First lightning round complete.